Hey guys, what's up, and welcome back to Screen Trendy. In today's video, we're taking a look at the history and wealth of Pawn Stars Chumley. And without any further delay, let's get right into the video! Entering in the music business. Now, we all know that Chumley is a multi-talented fellow, and he proved this by entering the musical line. The Pawn Star attended a DJ school as he wanted to learn about music and make a career in it. He wanted to learn the norms of the world, as it had a massive audience, and frankly, who doesn't love a DJ? He currently only plays in Las Vegas, and fans from all over the country come to see him perform. He only plays at nights and works on his music in the late hours, or whenever he's free from his show and looking after other businesses. Chumley, along with his many talents, has also proved that he knows how to bring in cash. He keeps on building his fortune and hasn't left any loose ends in becoming the richest of them all. The guy is a hard worker and a true mastermind. Chumley's Candy Shop Now, you can't just become richer than your boss just by working under him. You have to have another thing going on simultaneously. Following this phenomena, Chumley in 2017 opened up his own business with his brother. After many discussions over what they could do, both the brothers agreed on opening up a candy shop. Now this shop isn't your ordinary candy shop that you find at the corner of your street. Chumley's shop has a wide selection of candies. Instead of only stocking up Hershey's and Cadbury's, Chumley's shop contains nostalgic candies from the 50s till 90s. The shop contains candy shaped into Star Wars, Disney, and Pokemon characters, and the shop also contains some of the recent favorites that kids love. Even after some legal troubles, Chumley's Candy Shop is a well-running business, which only goes to show that despite his unsure, dumb, and humorous character on these shows, he has a good sense of business. Branding Chumley is in no doubt one of the most popular and, as mentioned before, the highest paid character of the show. The kids love him and the fans are head over heels for his humor and down-to-earth personality and this helped him become a brand. A reason for Chumley's wealth is also that the Pawn Star has opened up a company and manufactures his own merchandise. This company is another one of his successful business ideas, as his company sells novelty items like the t-shirts that he himself designed. He also sold half of his company to Rick Harrison for $125,000. Unlike the other Pawn Stars, Chumley is cashing in on both the show and his character, and that certainly is giving him a lot of financial benefits. Highly Paid Star some people have the potential to just stand out from others, and that's exactly the case with Chum Lee. Because of his various talents and humor, he is loved by the fans and has given the show several good moments, due to which he became the highest paid star on the show. This is one reason for him for being crazy rich. The star is given $25,000 per episode, and each season has almost 25 to 50 episodes. So it's not wrong to say that the show has majorly contributed to building Chumley's fortune. Chumley's Expensive Car Collection The man has a very expensive taste in cars, as well as a true eye for value. His car collection is worth more than a million dollars. He's in an episode cut an amazing deal for a Maserati valued at $100,000. The guy got the seller down to striking $85,000 for the car, giving him a boost of $15,000. Apart from the Maserati, Chumley also owns a 1964 Impala SS, a Ranger Over, and a Rolls-Royce Phantom. He has made an awful lot of money from car sales and collection. Altogether, his collection adds up to increase his net worth and contribute in making him the richest Pawn Star. So, here were some reasons for Chumley being the richest Pawn Star. All in all, Chumley's strategies, hard work, and business mind has given him to lead a life full of luxuries. 
The guy may be portrayed as dumb in the show, but in real life is pretty smart, or at least smarter than his co-workers. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you guys in another video. Until then, take care, and goodbye!